Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel and welcome to an incredible gameplay by the latest version of Stockfish, the powerful Stockfish 16. Today we see the fish battling it out with the black pieces in the Sicilian defense against this dangerous Keras attack that's possible. The Keras attack I think it's a very very dynamic and aggressive approach uh, with the white pieces. If you don't know what to do I think you could get smashed in an early stage of the game with the black pieces. You have to find yourself first defensive ideas, defensive uh, strategies and then make Maybe later, maybe in the later stage of the game, you can counterattack. You can maybe create an attack for yourself. But as I said, first you have to defend. Let's see now how Stockfish played defensively first against this dangerous Karest attack. Its opponent was the slow chess engine and opened with the move e4. The uh, we have here Sicilian by Stockfish 16 with the move c5, knight to f3. Uh, we have now the move e6, which is the French Sicilian. We're trying, of course, to hit the center sometimes with the move d5. Now we have the open Sicilian d4, c takes d, knight takes d, knight to f6 and hitting the pawn on e4 is many times met of course with this idea bit knight to c3 connecting the knight to the pawn we have now the move d6 which you now which is now the so-called shevening pawn structure which is a mobile pawn structure if possible we can hit, hit the center then later with the move e5 if necessary also with the move d5 so this um, pawn structure has of course a certain flexibility you can do whatever you want in the later stage of the game we have g4 now comes the caddis attack with the very very nice ideas here the main goal is of course somehow to deflect the knight uh, from the square f6 to get uh, the key defender of the king if you castle on the king side later then of course uh, the knight would be your most important defensive piece so the key goal here of this attack is to deflect the knight from the defense of the h7 square and then push it further uh, include more pieces into the game also and if possible push maybe f4 e5 break and enter so the pawn majority attack here on the king side is now the main strategic goal from white's perspective and this uh, move is many times met with this idea first of all slowing down a little bit uh, here white's progress on the king side h6 good defensive move bishop to e three and now stockfish is announcing its own attack uh, like in many Sicilians we have this opposite side attack game white is attacking the king side black is coordinated the attack uh, towards the queen side is trying also to get something out of this two versus three pawn minority so we are trying here uh, to create some kind of a weakness here we uh, launching a flank attack with these two pawns against these three pawns if something gets clear then there are maybe some weaknesses weak square or weak pawns in the game f3 is simply supporting the further progress preparing h4 h5 stockfish continues with its own plan as we said b5 queenside minority attack queen to d2 preparing queenside casting and now stockfish immediately attacks the knight here on uh, c3 with move b5 uh, b4 we have knight to a4 knight from b to d7 and now knight to c6 seems tempting but it doesn't bring you anything we'll simply get uh, here the queen on c7 you could maybe take out even the pawn on b4 but now I'm not sure about this position. Many times, even in Sicilians, you want to give up even your B pawn. It seems strange that you should give up a pawn, but actually, if you could just imagine now, maybe the position if White would have already castled on the queen side here, and you have such a position like this, then look at this rook to B8 is going to happen. Will simply destroy, I think, uh, White king side. Will smash simply the, uh, uh, the queen side army with his attacks. And even in this scenario, if you take take out the pawn immediately, look at this. There are even some wild lines with the move D5. If you take it now with queen to A5, you could lose even a piece here. Both knights are hanging. We have a double attack by the bishop and the queen here against the knight on B4, and this knight is also attacked. So unpleasant unpleasant position now for white to handle so that's why first of all queen side castle so as we said knight to c6 doesn't bring you anything so stockfish cements the knight on e5 is making also the life of this knight a little bit hard the knight cannot move anymore then of course the f3 pawn is hanging in the game we have queen takes b4 by you know, by um, the slow chess engine but that's something as i said that we simply want to get in in the city with the black pieces it's a position that is really playable you want to now simply attack the b b file you want to include more attackers into the game even this other bishop into the game maybe somehow if possible also to include the queen so far the queen cannot be cannot play in a good way the black queen is really not so good but maybe later when we improve our position a little bit then the queen could be very very active so look at the c file b file already open so 
I would not really love to play any more this game from White's perspective, although the evaluation is, of course, slightly better, but uh, the attacking chances that you get now when the queen takes out now the pawn are enormous, I think, here from Black's perspective. So bishop to d7, simply continuing the pressure, bishop to f4, now comes g5. If you take here, bishop to e5, of course, look at this, d takes e5, comes with the tempo, and now... The bishop pair is uh, really monstrous. Of course, they also the knight and the queen is hanging, so it's game over here for uh, for white immediately. So let's go back. So after move um, uh, g5, we have bishop to d2 by slow chess. We have bishop to e7, queen to a3, and now comes this plan that we have talked about, rook to b8. The b file is our main tactical goal. Now we want to maybe even create somehow a rook and queen battery. So far, of course, it's not possible. The square is taken, but maybe later, again with motifs like d5, getting the queen out of taking out the knight, maybe include the queen into the game. Many, many, again, tactical opportunities. In the game, bishop to b4, attacking the d6 weakness. Queen to c7, king to b1, improving the position of the king. One, maybe even here uh, to corner the king on um, a1, where the king is not attacked by the rook's activity but also is not attacked by potential queen's activity on the c file we have h5 uh, stockfish is trying to solve here positional problems on the side of the board there uh, that um Slouch has already attacked so now with the move um uh, now with the move h5, Stockfish allows g takes h5, but Stockfish doesn't want to take out the pawn, plays now what is in my opinion a brilliant move here, plays the beautiful g4. And the problem is now, if you pass through, many of us would be tempted by this idea uh, to play the move f4, this is not working, look at this, you play knight to c6, knight takes c6, and now after bishop to c6, this line diagonal gets liberated, the e4 pawn is weak, okay, probably you lose maybe some tactics here, but look at this, the knight is also uh, here a little bit messed up, bishop to d6, rook to d6, we take out uh, here, the queen is a little bit overloaded to the defense of both of these pieces, so it's not working here for white also this attack. So after move g4, that's why bishop to a6 play by um, the slow chest engine, Stockfish grabs now uh, the pawn on f3, and this pawn will be now very, very important for the continuation of the game, because it's, believe it or not, a pass pawn, and a pass pawn in potential endgames can be very, very dangerous. Keep that in mind while watching this position, because I think Stockfish really tricked here a little bit, Stock, uh, the slow chest engine with cool cool tactics here first of all the slow chest and then play knight to c3 um slow chest didn't like uh, the queen to be overloaded always to the defense of uh, this knight on a4 simply retreat the knight uh, with the knight on a better square queen to b6 attacks now both of these pieces and now the fun starts here uh, slow chest plays aggressive move knight to b5 is hitting now uh, here the d6 weakness so stockfish continues with rook to a8 uh, pinning the bishop here not allowing this bishop to breathe but bishop to d6 was played by the slow chess engine we have rook takes a6 but now comes the stunning tactic queen takes a6 and after queen takes a6 and knight to c7 the fork everything is pretty much forced here we have king to d8 uh, slow chess grabs now the um, uh, queen also on a6 but now of course this bishop on d6 is hanging and now in the further tactical sequence we have this idea knight to f3 knight takes f3 and the rook to d6 creates now a position where again um you see White get annoyed by this uh, passer on the F file. Now uh, Stockfish will create another pass pawn. So Stockfish is simply trying to reach the fully endgame stadium. Okay, when we watch now material, uh, it's understandable why maybe uh, White went into this tactical sequence. Because look at this, we have now uh, four six pawns against four pawns uh, here for um, um, uh, for for Black. Of course, White gained the rook for two minor pieces in some other lines of course a rook wouldn't be good wouldn't be enough for the lost two minor pieces but white gained many many pawns in the tactical sequence okay here stockfish can also pick up now the pawn on e4 that's not the point but let's count again we have now five versus two and two minor pieces versus a rook but as i said again stockfish is creating here some passers on the F file, so it's not working here for White. White got tricked here a little bit, as I said, Stockfish calculated this position in a beautiful way, went now into a favorable endgame because of Rook to b6, now Stockfish grabbed another pawn, we have now the move b3, and although White is here three connected pass pawns, it's very, very hard to push them. I think 
it's much much easier to push the f pawn than it is maybe here to push uh the c pawn because the king is close enough to the action and basically all also these pieces the p rook on b4 and also of uh, b6 pardon and the knight on a6 are standing in the way of this pawn so you'll have to lose at least one or two tempi in order to somehow liberate the files and start to uh, let this pawn roll so it's not working black's attack is simply much much faster look it's knight to f2 rook to c1 e5 stockfish is letting this pawns roll here on the f and e file we have knight to c5 we have here the move e4 we have b4 bishop to c1 bishop to c8 we have an attack by the rook Again, nothing spectacular. Stockfish just improves the position of the king. We have here uh, rook to c6, rook to h8, protecting the bishop. Okay, you have your fun with one check, but now Stockfish simply improves further the position. Has still this dangerous pawn, and if necessary, also the f pawn that could be connected to the e4 pawn. We have now a4. Now, finally, slow chess slowly pushes the a pawn. It's simply too slow here. Uh, for the slow chess engine because black's attack is much much faster now stockfish even cuts off uh, here the knight's activity the knight could maybe come here somewhere maybe um, also the rook could be uh, activated on the d file maybe forcing with knight to d4 a further trades of knights or something stockfish is not allowing that nice prophylactic move we have now knight to c5 e3 by the fish and now after knight to uh, e6 f takes e6 we have a rook to c3 and now knight to d1 a beautiful move by stockfish Stockfish simply uh, pushing the pawn further, uh, attacking also the rook, preparing uh, the further progress. If you step back here somewhere, but I don't know, maybe here to, to b3, then of course we have knight to d2, the ro we have here a beautiful fork. If you step back here to a3, then it's not getting better. Again, knight to d2 is simply winning the game on spot. You have to step back and now e2 is not allowing some checks and will simply promote here the pawn on the e file. So, very very nice supported pawn uh, by both of this knight so after move knight to d1 here uh the slow chess engine had to sacrifice now the rook for the pawn now it's game over obviously with two minor pieces up this is now completely completely winning end game here for stock for 16. so slow chess tried queen to a2 e5 a5 e4 and after move a6 in this particular position the slow chess engine resigned again uh this rook is waiting always for the spawns and this knight can be included into the defense and now we let the pawn roll here on the e file so uh nothing can be done white king is also far away from the action if there was maybe a, another minor piece on the board for white maybe you can survive somehow this attack but in this particular position obviously really, really a good game game for black for sure so okay really interesting ideas in the catas attack from black's perspective so you see stockfish never castled even with the black pieces in 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 the sits in defense really really good defense in the beginning then afterwards we have seen a beautiful tactical sequence again a beautiful sharp tactical game played by stockfish 16. so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot interesting ideas of this uh, catas attack uh, we have here i think really really nice approach seen by stockfish 16. if you want to see more amazing chess games like this check out like our commented chess games played by computer studies here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what do we say chess is the best of course